Hello everyone, my name is Emily and this is SumSub, a channel all about how to survive in the online jungle. So, today's video is going to be a little bit different to usual. I'm not going to tell you how to delete your social media account or how to launder millions of dollars with the help of NFTs because, well, we've already talked about that. Today, actually, I'm asking you to immerse yourself in the world of art, more specifically vintage art, and join me as I conduct a small experiment. With the help of neural networks and modern technologies, we'll try to revive the early beauties of the last century so that they literally emerge from pin-up posters and appear before you on the screen. Will a neural network, having only a drawing at its disposal, be able to turn our 2D illustrations into a moving image of a real person? To help us evaluate the work of artificial intelligence, we'll compare the results to real-life photos of these pin-up girls. Now, personally, I'm ready to go back in time and look into the eyes of our reincarnated pin-up girls, so let's go. Now, the term pin-up covers a wide range of mediums. It can refer to drawings, paintings, and other illustrations, as well as photographs. But why did I decide to experiment with pin-up images? Well, firstly, they're very aesthetically pleasing, and secondly, because of the historical significance of these images. After all, it was such posters that helped win the Second World War. And I'm not exaggerating at all. Pin-ups first became popular around the time that the United States joined the Second World War at the end of 1941, when they were used to raise the morale of conscripts. The way they created these pin-up illustrations was that first they took a photo of the model in the required pose, and then based on this photograph, they created a colorful illustration. Drawings of pretty girls were placed on the covers of magazines, on posters in cinemas, used to advertise a variety of products, and they also decorated military equipment. Soldiers painted these fictional beauties on their combat vehicles, as well as their wives or famous movie actresses. This kind of art even got its name, nose art, because of the appearance of these drawings on combat aircraft, or more specifically, the nose of the aircraft. Now, it's important to note that the pinup is provocative, but not vulgar. Moderate nudity of the model was, as a rule, accidental. A gust of wind, for example, could inadvertently lift the dress and expose the legs. As I've already said, the basis of the drawing was a photograph of the model, and usually it was a famous actress or actors that then became models. And yes, male pinups did also exist, but it was a lot less popular. One of the very first and most popular pinup girls was Betty Grable, whose poster hung in the lockers of soldiers during World War II. Later, this picture was included by Life magazine in the list of 100 photos that changed the world. With the help of neural networks, we were able to revive one of the pinup posters. This is an advertisement for cigarettes released in 1944. A little magic and... During her career, Betty was able to earn over $3 million. She featured in 42 films that were released during the 1930s and 40s and brought in more than $100 million. Grable even has her own star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Her legs were insured by the British company Lloyd's of London for $1 million. As Grable herself said, there are two reasons for my success and I stand on both. But in addition to beautiful legs, Grable was the owner of an incredibly beautiful smile. Now, this gorgeous lady is Betty Brosmer. She started her career at the age of 13 and has won more than 50 beauty contests. There are currently more than 150 magazines with her photos alone. Her most striking feature was a very narrow waist, only about 46 centimeters. Betty Brosmer became the first model who had all the rights to her photos. She received a cut every time her photo was published. Marilyn Monroe only became a commercial phenomenon after 1955. And since 1948 and throughout the 50s, Betty was considered the standard of female beauty. All of the fashionable women at that time looked up to her and tried to imitate her look. Some even wore corsets to emphasise their figure. By the way, the secret of Brosma was actually quite simple. She loved sports and carefully monitored her physical activity and nutrition. 
In the late 1960s, the owner of the Wasp Waste, as it was sometimes referred to, met the bodybuilder Arnold Schwarzenegger. The young people became friends and began to work together to popularise fitness. This year, Brosnan will be 86 years old, and she still looks amazing. To go back to the past for a while, let's repeat the trick with neural networks and bring this Betty Brosnan poster to life. This is probably one of the most famous photos of Betty, from which perhaps a dozen pieces of art were made. In it, Brosma flaunts her famous tiny waist, but right now we are more interested in her face. Neural networks have done a good job. I think this animation really shows us what Betty Brosmer looked like more than half a century ago. Now, if Arnold Schwarzenegger happens to be watching this video, then Arnie, you should write in the comments how successful our experiment was. Remembering the 40s of the last century, it would be a mistake not to mention the beautiful Ava Gardner. The owner of The Face of an Angel and the Body of a Goddess, as the American actress and singer was once described, was one of the brightest Hollywood stars of the 40s and 50s. Her many achievements included an Academy Award nomination in 1953, a BAFTA Award, as well as a Best Actress Award and a Golden Globe in 1964. Now, Gardner also had an unsurpassed sense of style, which had a huge impact on fashion trends in post-war America and beyond. In a classic rags to riches story, an ordinary farm girl from North Carolina became an icon of Hollywood. As a basis for the live photo, we took one of the posters for the film that Gardner featured in, and here's what happened. Well, what do you think? Did the neural network do a good job? In any case, I enjoyed this little experiment. With the help of neural networks, the system analyzes the image, highlights and improves the face, and then adds animation to it. A few minutes, and we already have the opportunity to step back into the past. Today, we've shown you just one of the capabilities of neural networks. You can also experiment with similar programs yourself and share your opinion about the work of artificial intelligence in the comments. What artwork or images would you like to bring to life? Anyway, thanks for tuning in today, guys. This was Emily with SumSub. I'll be waiting for you on our next tour of the online jungle.